Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We're gonna be we're gonna start up with a uh, puzzle dungeon. Uh, apparently, we don't have all the puzzle. I guess I have to. We have to do them in order. Strike order is a subtle yet powerful distinction in desktop dungeons combat. Take the thief for example. Attacks do extra damage and can kill many foes in a single blow. If you manage to get the first hit, you'll usually escape from combat without taking any damage. Who hits first? To help in this regard, you'll, you've been given the get and dare glyph. Uh, whenever you use it, you'll be guaranteed a first hit in one normal combat round. Use the combat prediction on the right side of the screen to see how the fight plays out before and after activation. They can't hit back if they're dead. So, with this, we'll, we we might potentially learn how to uh, how to how to best this whole situation. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna want to use this to kill that lad for sure. We don't have we can't like we don't have any mana recovery, unfortunately. So we might want to reserve. Well, this guy's gonna take four hits. So I guess we need to kill these four lads in order to um, level up and then we can take on the sorcerer. Poisonous. This is our first poisonous effect. Attacks poison target. All right. Well, we can we can kill them. Oof. Okay, so that's we got to undo that because the thing is is that if we take a hit That means that we wasted the getting there Um, so let's let's do this and then we'll do this and then we want to hit this guy once and then do getting there If an enemy has the first strike effect, they will hit you first no matter what don't waste your glyph power on them It don't won't work can't beat their first strike gotcha Great stuff if you find that you're too low on health and or mana to kill the next creature, restart the puzzle and see if you can optimize your glyph use. You have limited glyph casts available. Uh, use them only in the most important situations. Studying the combat prediction panel carefully will help you figure out your best move. Don't waste casts. So, um, unfortunately, I think this is teaching us that we want to gauge how much damage we're taking from each creature. Right? It looks to me like we're taking the same amount of damage from each creature. Um, now, this guy over here is a one-hit kill. Well, we can take, uh, it looks to me like three hits before we get there. We don't necessarily have to uh, use get and dare, right? We don't want to get poisoned. That's for sure. We definitely don't want to get poisoned But we could for instance um, Well, we probably want to use the glyph on the zombie Because this guy is gonna take two hits to kill, right? I somehow think that we're already gonna lose this No, we're okay because we'll take this hit and then we can use getting dare to kill this lad and then we'll level up you clearly understand efficient combat and have guided your thief to level two with just one loadout of health and mana this is a valuable skill in any desktop dungeon scenario now for the boss so we'll hit them once and then we use getting dare and kill them puzzle complete well done um this puzzle will require you to manipulate terrain and enemy positions showing how the dungeon layout can affect play I like the idea, the, the, the kind of ritual of doing one puzzle before we do an actual dungeon. I think that that's fun. Um, we could try a, a ca class challenge. I already did this one. Defeating this challenge will earn you 150 gold. Th we don't have access to this one. We could do the thief, which would give us 150 gold. But I honestly think more valuable than that would be to just do an, a basic adventure. If we fail against an adventure, then I, I don't mind uh, trying something else. North is a balanced experience, though confidence with glyph use is recommended. So we probably want to play a wizard on this one. Wizard elf is a classic combo. Let's do it. 
wizard elf and um why don't we give we'll give them a shield and uh look at that look look at that face that's that's fantastic click here when you're ready to leave no i don't want to leave it okay so we got a fancy pamphlet we also got our uh flamed rays burned rays got some extra attack right away we can't really do anything we can we can you know run for the glyph and we can also take this fine sword Mighty fine sword. By the looks of it, it could probably add about four base damage. Yeah, let's take that. Oh, we got let me see. So why don't we try a let me see? I thought it prior Ooh, we've got to uh... now if we take that. We can't take this. There's no way. Uh, if we take that, then it'll probably ruin the run. Um, Torog, Torog will, will, will be bad for us because um, he doesn't want us to cast spells and we need to cast spells. Apparently this dungeon favors the, uh, the glyph user. Okay, well, we've got, we got eyes on some spells. We've got, um, that's, I'm pretty sure that's Pish, Pissorf. Um, we've got another glyph over there. I could try and get eyes on that. Okay, so we know that we have the the turn to stone one So that means we're gonna be manipulating level one creatures and on this floor Um That being said we're level one right now. So killing a level one would be a good idea Definitely we want getting there we want to get in there as soon as we can. Get in there is, is such a good spell. We do have uh, the, the stone breaker, the wall breaker spell, which is a good spell. And I'm not sure how it um, works with um, killing creatures. Ooh, desert troll, our first desert troll. They're cowardly. We'll run away when struck, fast regen. Um, that's, that is a problem. I really need to level up. Wait, what was that? What was that I just killed? I don't think it was something I recognized. Please don't use magic. Please don't use magic. Please don't use magic. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What are we even doing here? This was a terrible idea. Regards, a tower of goo. Uh, Bloodstain says what? Very good. Um, I don't... Uh, We've got a goblin. They will kill us immediately. I'm only level one right now. I'm having a hard time figuring out where I'm supposed to go. We've got some kind of mystery over there. Okay, there's a level one. This is also a desert troll. So there's a small, right, there's smaller desert trolls. Makes sense. So we're finally level two. Um, we can't kill that goblin well, okay, we can't kill them with physical violence, but what we can do is hit them once and then maybe use two spells. Nice. We got another level two. This is good. But the thing is, is the level two, uh, they're trolls, so they'll run away. That's where we, we have certain spells that make it so that they can't move away or run away. And we have I'm a wall. We definitely want to use um, I'm a wall as much as we can um, to, to, you know, manipulate the good things. Um, does this guy do physical damage? He has physical resist. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is that 80 hits? Look at that. 80 hits to kill them with physical attacks. That's just comical. And they do 75 damage. So we, you know, that that is 100% like the game. You you need to kill them with spells. 100%. So we're only level two right now. Things are moving very slowly, which is not good, honestly. We've got a warlock here. Why don't we hit them with a burning spell? and um 
We'll attack him once and then use uh, getting there. That'll level us up. So we're level three now. Um, if we hit him this way, I'm pretty sure they'll flee away from us so we can still like continue hitting them. So let's hit them with uh, a burning ray. And we'll hit him with another burning ray. But the problem with that is that then we can't use get in there. That's fine. I don't think we need to. We have our we have a level one here. We definitely want to use a level one. I'm pretty sure we, we just had confirmation that we can kill a level four desert troll. So why don't we go ahead and use... Actually, I just realized we need this. Well, we'll be blocking this off, so we'll want to um, destroy this later. But let's go ahead and use um, I'm a wall on that just so we get some extra XP from this next kill. And then I guess we need some more mana. And we'll hit this lad. They're doing 15 damage, but we'll just hit them with that. And we should be able to kill them. And we got extra XP and we did level up. This is good. Um, I guess the level up means we can't, we shouldn't explore right now. So we're level four. Um, this goblin is kind of a problem. I'm not sure if we can actually do anything about them. So this guy only, yeah. So they seem to give you their their level and XP, at least when they're lower level than you, or at least like on par with you. So they give you two XP if they're level two. So I could, um, like if I go to this um, level five, they're going to give me two uh, plus two experience. So they give me five plus two because they're level they're one level higher than me. I'm not sure how that equates. Like, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but it seems like they're giving me my... They're giving me their level plus, like, I don't know, 20% or something like that. I actually think it might be 40% because it's... 40% uh, of five is two. So they're giving me seven, right? Are they giving me... Yeah, they're giving me seven. So I think that's how it works out. But either way, if I... That means they're giving me... Hmm, how do I work this out? If they're giving me seven, then if I use I'm a wall, I'll gain 50% experience, which means I'll gain another three, I think. So I think it'll work out to being better than just killing this uh, warlock. That being said, it does cost us mana to do that. So that's not necessarily good. Oh, well, that's fine because we don't, we, we can recover before we start wailing on this guy. I'm doing all kinds of like mental gymnastics here. You'll have to forgive me. Um, but it's worth doing these things because you do, you do benefit from mathing certain things out. Making the most of your resources and getting the most you can is definitely worthwhile. So now the question is, can we take out, um, we can't take out a zombie. I don't think we can take out a zombie. We're only going to do four times four, 16 damage. 16 damage per attack so at the very most we can only do like 30 damage to them with our fire glyph um so that's about a third of their health and then we can hit them for close to 30 so that's another third if we were able to increase that a little bit we could maybe do it but i don't think we i don't think it's worth it Let's just uh, go, come over here and hit some... Uh, I mean, a Meat Man is perfect. Meat Man is going to be very... Meat Men are, are like, you know, your, your meat and potatoes. Uh, we could also kill this Goblin just to level up. Actually, we should have made the most of that. I bet I could have, like, hit the go this zombie a couple of times. Um, why don't we kill this level 5? And then we're also we've also got another store thing here i guess this is our our bazaar i i just got that pun oh my god okay um we do have that level two i would like to see them if i could if i could use this to spot them that's officially not worth it i don't know about uh let me see i actually think that it's like kind of not worthwhile 
So I'm gonna go ahead and convert it. Ah, uh, but then there's like a, there's a chance there might be a mini dungeon later. Let's go ahead and just kill this uh, goblin. And this level two dude, I will uh, turn into a wall for the extra XP. Um, for level five, it might be worth considering killing the zombie now. Level five means we'll do 20 damage per fire strike, which means we'll do 40 damage in total. That's not quite half of their health. It's a little, quite a bit less actually, but um, we can take one damage to deal 30 totaling for 70 health uh and i don't think that that is enough in order to like i don't think it's enough to to make up what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn this guy into a wall i think i think we can just barely do it but it's not quite doable i don't know let's grab this end this wall these guys do physical damage so hold on a second gain a temporary 20 percent Damn, a physical resistance boost. Um, I don't know how temporary that is. Like, how long does it last? Stone skin one, I'm assuming that means that it uh, only lasts the one turn. Okay, we can take two hits now. I don't know. I guess with that one little health thing we got was good enough. So let's, let's try this now and we'll hit them once and then, um, oh, I need to, I need to be able to get in there. So let's, um, reveal a slate, like one dungeon tile. Oh, they were able to recover just enough. Oh, that's really annoying. Cause I didn't, I didn't check. And that means that getting there is going to be completely wasted now. So we'll hit them once and then use getting there and then we should be able to kill them now. Okay. <clears throat> so one more of those and we should be able to level up. Okay. Um, just trying to recover a little bit. I guess we could use let me see to do that just to see some of the stuff on, on the field. That's, that's the nice thing about let me see. Um, so i have just enough oh, i don't have enough to do two fire glyphs and also a getting there uh and also i don't have another low level creature to convert into experience unfortunately so all of that is unfortunate um so okay if you destroy these uh the creatures after you turn them into stone you do actually get something for your trouble which is interesting Let's just hit them. We can hit them twice and then I'll recover enough tiles that I can, um, yeah. So now I have enough for getting there and then I can kill them and that's going to level us up. So we're at level six now. Let's go ahead and destroy this for the extra gold. So we have a level seven ogre or a troll. I mean, the problem is that I think he can back up into stuff we can't see just yet. Oh, there's a level five. That's an easy kill. Uh, we have a zombie. This is a zombie. Well, let's uh, use a fire glyph, hit them once, and then get in there. Okay. We need to recover some mana. Um, you know, setting a troll on fire is like one of the best ways to counteract their fast regen but i don't think that that works in this game it also would mean that the rules are kind of inconsistent why don't we just hit this zombie over here and and gain some basic xp nothing fancy okay we got a level one creature over here that is good um Let's see, we it would take four hits to kill that ogre. I don't think that we can do it. This is a warlock. Um, 
We're at level six now, so that means we would do 24 damage per. So that we're, we're close to 50 damage. Or close to 50 damage with our with two fire glyphs. And then we would do 37 damage. Um, totaling for not enough. <laughs> That's not enough to kill this warlock. Because, uh, so, so let's just do the math completely. 40, 48 damage. And then, um, and then one strike is 37. It's not enough. Let's just say it's not enough because it's not enough. Um, shucks. And they do magic attacks, so this Endus Wall is not actually going to do anything. Speaking of which, why don't we go ahead and turn that guy into stone so we gain extra XP. Dude, we've got some extra fodder for that also coming up. Um, I really would like to have that extra mana over there. Um... Hmm. I'm just trying to puzzle this out. I, I definitely don't think I can kill this guy. I'm just wondering if I can kill this um, desert troll. The problem with the desert troll is that I don't know what they're going to back up into. So I have to reveal some of the dungeon. Yeah. So they, they, they would have been able to dungeon uh, back up. Revealing this now means we can have them back up into area we've already explored, which is better. Um, so let's go ahead and assume we can do this. I can do close to 50 damage with fire and um, I can take three hits. So that means we can do at least two hits, which is 40 damage each, close to 80. Uh, 80 plus 50 is enough. All right, so let's let's hit them a couple times with this. Hit them once, and then um, yeah, we can we can just hit them again, and we got some extra XP for that. Let's go ahead and recover. We still can't take on that warlock. I don't think we can take on this the the zombie either. Again, we're only doing uh, 50 damage with our fire glyph, and that's assuming we're doing two of those. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm as well this level one dude so that we're getting more XP from the, our next kill. And let's actually do, let me see. Yeah, that's not super helpful. I have to, I, I feel like I have to assume we can kill this warlock, but I don't think we can. We can hit punch them once actually. If we do two fire and then, oh, we're going to kill them now. Okay, so my math is just bad. And we, we don't have to use anything because, uh, is this another level 10? Oh my, sending out lone heroes to do the work of an army? Your kingdom is getting quite cocky. I doubt you'll have an, as easy a time against two opponents. Have a look around for my pet goo. Maybe you'll manage to kill me in an even fight, but I think that you'll be too busy drowning in gelatinous fury to get around it. Um, victory will stay out of your grasp until we both fall. Politely regards, uh, Aquitas, the evil warlock. Finger crossbows. So they, no gimmicks. They're just ma magical attacks. We can uh, take one of their hits, which is good to know. We'll do 50 damage to them with um two well we leveled up so actually we're gonna do more than 50 damage now with our uh, with, with two fire glyphs and we do 40 damage with our physical attack so if they only had a hundred and let's say they had 109 <laughs> health left um and we did 40 damage to them that would leave them with 60 that's not enough to kill them but we're pretty close it's not bad what do we have here? Pendant of Mana. This item glows slightly blue when worn, offering a bonus of two maximum mana. It also is convertible for 35. We'll buy it. Um, I'm wondering how many creatures, level like low level creatures we have left for I'm as well. Because we could probably, um, what we could do 
And we should convert explode these as well for the extra gold. It's not a lot of extra gold, so it's probably not that worthwhile. But I'm just thinking um, we could try it. Like once we run out of low level creatures, there's no reason to keep uh, I'm a wall anymore. And uh, and so we can we can just like convert it for extra mana. So now um, Tower of Goo, physical resistance. They've got a lot of physical resistance. I don't think we can actually do much against them. Pick your poison air, regulated medicine, medicinal supplement. What will it be? Okay, so this offers us a potion. We're only level seven. I don't think we're going to be able to kill Tower of Goo. If they, um, like, well, we have mana potions. So, uh, assuming this grants us... It doesn't grant us full mana. Hold on, mana. Uh, let's let's look at ourselves for a second. Glyph costs one negative one mana. Donate to con ten. Uh, donate ten conversion points to other conversions. Can see glyph locations. All glyphs are small items. Starts with the burned arrays. Yeah, but what I'm interested in right now is um, I was kind of interested in. I don't even know. Like, I guess... Do we get extra mana for using potions? I don't think we do. And I don't think we have enough mana potions to, uh... To, to kill this guy. However, however, we might have enough for this guy over here. We can actually take one of his hits. In fact, we could probably just take this guy out with health potions. And this is uh, probably the guy we'd want to do that against because we know that health potions are going to be completely worthless against Tower of Goo because doing physical attacks is, like, just not going to work, right? So, actually, let's um, let's take out Aquatas. And we also get an experience boost right now. So, let's hit him. Um, we'll use... I guess we're going to have to use two health potions to get to full health. Hit him again. We should have done our fire strikes first. That was my bad. Um, let's hit him with fire. And he's going to kill me. But I think if I do get there, I can kill him. Yeah. So that's them dead. And I leveled up from that. So that's all very good. We're at level 8 now. I would like to be level 9, but it's usually very difficult to actually get to level 10. I don't think that um, maybe until later there's a, a really a good way of doing that. Like getting to level 10 is, is not simple. Um, so we don't have any health potions. However, there is a health potion there. There are some creatures left on the field. We also got this. What is this? Warlock beard. This trophy is what you came here for. Grab it and let's go. If more than one trophy exists, you may sell this one for 25 gold. So... Oh, I see. We don't have the option to keep it. We have two level 8s. Um, the level 8s will give us 8 XP. So they do give us our, our you know, level. So that means we'll get a combined 16... Uh, 16 experience. Uh, if I converted one of these 4s into XP, that would mean that we'd get 50%. It's not worth it. Because we're only getting, you know, like, we're getting 50% XP, but 50% of 8 is 4, and so we're, we're just, like, converting it into the same thing. Um, so... Uh, we still have the side, um, dungeon we should do. Oh, that's not... The, right, the, the side dungeon's over there. I don't like exploring the dungeon. Uh, oh, you know what? We have this piss orf, and we have a level nine. The level nine could be very good. The level nine is going to give us 11. So it seems to be actually that it's only the base level of experience plus two. If you are like one level below. So let's see. Let's just math it out for a second. So we're going to get 19... 26 sorry 20 yeah 26 
26 XP, 30, 35. And if we manage to kill the zombie, we would have just barely enough health or enough XP to level up to level nine. But is it worth it? Um, is that in fact worthwhile? I don't know. What is this? Badge of honor. Click to use. A warrior's mark, which adds 10% bonus damage. It can be used to provide death protection. Destroys the item. Oh, and we have one level one over here. That changes things somewhat. If I can kill this level nine. Oh, there's another level one past them. Okay, hold on. Things are things are developing here. Let's do I'm a I'm a wall on this guy. I know that uh, maybe locks that guy off, but I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Um, and then we need to have some more mana. I would like to have full mana, actually. No, 12 is enough. 12 is enough to do two fire and one get and dare, and that's really all we care about. Um, so now we're level eight, so that means we're going to be doing 50, or sorry, 28, uh, 28? No, 32 times two. So we're going to be doing 64 damage, 64 damage for two glyphs. It's not a lot. Uh, and then we could maybe have the conversation about converting some of our spells to gain, have extra mana, but I don't think it really matters unless we can get to fixed 15 max mana. I mean, we can potentially if we get that uh, extra mana thing over there, but I think right now it's better to just try and kill this guy with what we've got. So... Why is he not taking more than 50 damage? He's only going down to 155. Oh, right. Sorry, it's only 50. It's only 60 something damage if I do both. Oh God, I forgot that they run away. And then they, they also heal. So this, this might not work out. Oh, there's another level nine. Changes things slightly. Um, I can punch him twice. It's not enough, though. But let's, uh, let's use this fire. Hit them again. I, I don't want them running into that, because, yeah, that's, it's just a huge pain in the butt. Uh, so we can punch them once. We can actually, we can, we can win this just barely. We don't have, we don't have death, uh, block, so... We're just going to be really low. Are we at... We're at two health right now, which is wild. But yeah, we, we did win that. That was a good chunk of XP, and we got bonus XP from uh, turning that one level one into uh, into extra. Um, let's try and spot this level one over here, and then we're going to turn them into a wall. And we could do much the same for this other level nine. Uh, and I think it would be worth doing that. Let's come at them from the other approach so that they don't have a chance to run into the darkness, maybe. Actually, if I go this way... Okay, it was it was stone. If I, if I hit them this way, then I don't think that they have any way of, of retreating. So let's do the same business again. Hit them with a fire, hit them with another fire. Um, punch them twice. And then get in there and kill them. And that's another good chunk of XP we've just got. Um, so actually, I do think that Pissorf is going to be the spell we want to use against Goo, Goo Guy. We also... Okay, there's another... I don't want to go down there because it uh, we're, we're, we're quite hurt right now. And sometimes these bonus dungeons can be kind of dangerous. So we're at 14 mana. Ooh, we have a level seven over here as well. Level seven dude will actually get us to not enough XP. So we got to kill a level eight dude. That's such a pain. Um, Here's what I'm thinking. Hmm. 
I don't think it's a good idea actually Let's uh, let's just check out this passage A gnome Pacifist Talk Dearest adventure, I'm so glad to see someone like you. I have not enough mana to sustain me and have left all my potions at home. Please help me. Um, help me lest the essence of my very soul fade away completely. I'll make it worth your while. I have gold, unique talents, and a pretty accurate estimate of exactly how much my life is worth in standard currency. Give potion? Uh, all right. Oh, thank you so much. I'm momentarily in your debt. Allow me to rest here just a while longer. I'll follow you out of the dungeon when you leave. Please don't die, as I'll have trouble getting out on my own. The map I brought, uh, the map I bought at Cartography for ye has <laughs> served me very well. Okay, gnomes. I like his face. He's got he's got a good face. All right, let's leave. That um, can, can we? Okay leave we can check out the other passage as well oh god why guardian of magic they would just kill me why why is this a thing physical immune retaliate fireball do 999 damage uh can we like can we i'm a wall them oh i don't know how i feel about what i just did there but hey we did it um is this a new god you lay a hand upon the altar and feel a wave of power flowing through you when steel and violence fail knowledge and spirit prevail magic is truth it's too bad I didn't do this sooner because I could have earned a lot more um, stuff from them. Mystera will increase your overall magic magic capacity by one mana. Um, Mystera will gift any glyph conversion with 50% mana restoration. And a reduced 25% while not actively worshipping her. Single use refreshment. I'm not sure what that means. Will gift any glyph conversion with 50% mana restoration. I guess that means if I can uh, convert any spell, she'll give me some mana. For times when followers absolutely have to defend themselves, uh, Mysteria rewards loyalty with power, increases fireball damage by one per character level, but reduces attack bonus by 50%. Well, that's actually great. Lower the magic resistance of your foes by 10%. That's fine. I think flames. Well, it's only a single use. All glyph ability costs are either increased or decreased by two towards an average of five. I don't know how... I, this is all a mystery to me. But hey, we've got a new god. Uh, I would definitely like to get... Um, like, flames? But we're going to do less damage. We probably want to do that... Um, after we've leveled up once more This uh, this desert troll will level level us up Thanks to the uh, the extra damage we're getting or extra experience we're getting from turning that one drake into into stone um, Let's go ahead and recover and uh, So we have enough for at least two spells Yeah, so Mystera likes it when we use spells. So using spells means that we we gain um, more. We gain points with Mystera. Um, yeah, I guess we can just because we're gonna level up from this, right? So we're at level nine. I don't think that there's enough creatures on the map, even if we do some funky stuff with these level eights to level up again i don't know maybe because okay so if, if we let's assume we turn these two creatures into stone and we got 12 xp from both level eights that's not enough <laughs> that's not even close um so 
We got this Pissorf. I'm pretty sure Pissorf is what we're going to want to use. Deals 60% base attack damage if target hits wall. So actually, isn't that my base attack? So um, doing this deal with Mystera. Um, lower your magic resistance of your foes by 10% on condition that you suffer the same penalty. I wonder if that makes them magic uh, vulnerable. Because uh, our, our deal, our dude here, Tower of Goo, does not actually have magic resistance. I kind of just want to get more damage with flames, but then again... So here's... Uh, the thing is... Pissorf costs less mana than uh, Burned Arrays. It does 60% of... Uh, of our base attack so that means we're doing god there's so much math in this game <laughs> we're doing 60 percent of 63 damage so what is that what is that <laughs> so slightly more it's going to be slightly more than 30 right so we're going to be doing like i don't know 35 damage which is uh equivalent to burned arrays which is at nine now so that means we're doing per attack we're doing 36 is it so it's equivalent to burn to raise except it only costs three mana which means we can do it many more times um but here's here's the fun part um i'm just wondering if it wouldn't be worth uh manipulating the board a little bit so that we have more walls to now we've got tons of walls there's no reason to create more walls as far as i'm concerned so, um, I'm just like puzzling this out. Let's, uh, why don't we do magic? Increase your overall magic capacity by one. I think that that is probably the most worthwhile thing we can do. Oh, it, it, it increases in cost every time I do it. So that, that is a, a bummer, but that's fine. Um, I think think we're ready to take on tower of goo so they have 318 health that means we would have to do piss off 10 times um we have 16 mana which means that we can do it five times per mana per full stack of mana so i'm pretty sure we can do this If you are somewhat intimidated by how much math I'm doing, don't be. I I think it's probably I, I, I'm making it more difficult on myself than I have to. Tell you what though, I'm gonna convert. I'm a wall, and I'm gonna convert. Um, I'm gonna convert to. Uh, let me see. And um, that means we have 20 full mana. May as well recover it. And I think we're good to go. I'm just like doing that out of like double safety. Okay, hold on. That doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage. What? It's only doing eight damage? Right, because this is physical damage. <gasps> I'm such a goddamn idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did all of that stupid mental gymnastics and then I forgot that if I do this, Pissorf is only doing physical damage. And what I need to be doing is burn to raise. And I unfortunately spent... Well, I mean, it's not bad. I spent all of my favor with Mystera on the wrong thing. If I could get flames, then it would be better. Um, and the only thing I'd have to do really is to cast more spells So this does uh, gives us one Why don't we go ahead and um, Cast a couple spells and uh, we have enough dungeon we should be able to recover our mana And I just need 20 favor we may as well make, get some gold from these other statues as well, right? So we're getting three per cast. 
Uh, I'm going to be cutting this kind of close, I won't lie. So I just need to cast it one more time. All right. So now we have enough to buy flames. We can only get it once, so that's fine. And it doesn't matter about the reduced attack bonus because that's it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, is there anything we can convert? I don't think we need Endless Wall anymore. We certainly don't need this fine sword. We don't have any mana right now. Let's uh, recover as much mana as we can. Oh, look, a health potion. Kind of don't need health potions. I don't think they're actually going to be that helpful. We already did as much as we can do up here, right? Um, let's convert Endus Wall. We could convert Fine Sword as well for some slightly more mana. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned. Can we buy this? We can buy another mana potion. Okay. Um, so let's take a mana potion. And we're just going to start hitting them. We need to cast seven flames. So... Uh, I, think, I think we've got this. Also, we are getting favor for doing this, so it could be that we can buy a refresher from Mystera. I kind of doubt it, though. Oh, we're good, though. We're actually totally fine. That was our last spell, so we were cutting it pretty close. Is what you came, uh, came here for. Grab it and let's go. So I guess there is no reason why we needed to keep the other one. Um, we could do a bit of extra work here if we wanted to. I don't know if there's any reason to. I was just thinking, like, if we left with some extra gold, it would be nice. Nah. Nah, let's just leave. That was a lengthy dungeon. Almost 50 minutes. I, I was really kind of, like, puzzling out the whole dungeon. And I made a mistake, but, uh... Ultimately, I think I did pretty well. Puzzles unlocked. Magical Mystera. Quest complete. Find the find the gnomes. You've made contract with the gnomes and invited them into the bustling heart of your kingdom. If you help them in, uh, settle in, they'll be sure to pre repay you. They're actually rather fastidious that way. Play your cards right, and you may even find a use for their unique talents in adventuring. Nice tents. <laughs> they got little hat tents. You sold the gooey mess for 250 gold. Oh, gnomes are expensive. Damn. All right. Unlocked the gnome. I like... Oh, I was thinking maybe that their head was pointy shaped. Hard to tell. Puzzles unlocked. Hello, gnomes. I like gnomes. Gnomes are fun. Petrify enemies. Oh, we're, 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 we've almost gotten that. Uh, and I guess that's gonna do it. I was expecting a um, bit more of a, f you know, fanfare for, for completing that, but I guess this, we got gnomes, so that's good enough. Oh, hold on. Bankers are growing restless. They claim that their money vault is not large enough to fuel their more powerful financomancy, uh, fi financomantic uh, rituals. They seek a newer, bigger vault, and they're willing to pay us handsomely to clear a dungeon for conversion. Kill everything in the venture cave, petrification not permitting against level higher aider. Uh... Petrification not permitted against level 8 or higher. Okay, empty cave. We have to go to Venture Cave? Where is Venture Cave? Venture Cave is just a normal cave. So they want us to completely clear one out. Uh, might be worth it. We could try it with a different class. But I think that's going to be for the next episode. 
we'll try uh, maybe we'll try gnomes seems like it could be fun what do gnomes do gnomes get a mana potion for every 90 conversion points interesting uh interesting can a difference here so like elf get more max mana but gnomes get temporary mana um but okay there's 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 fun stuff there i can i can see that being cool uh all right so if you're enjoying this series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy